Okay, so I'm gonna try and film this as fast as possible because I already got cut off trying to do it the last time I just did it. So this is my third installment of my perfume, the final one, which is just celebrity perfume. So first off, I have Circus by Britney Spears, just like this, cute bottle. And the top notes are Raspberry Zest at Apricot Blossom, the heart is Blue Peony, Lotus and Orchid, and the base is Vanilla, Musk, and Violet Candy. This is a really nice springtime scent, I do like it. Then I have Fantasy, which is the original one that everyone loves, and for good reason, it's very nice. And this is the Gourmet, <laughs> gourmet scent, or Gourmand scent, sorry, and it opens with a fruity mix of lychee, golden keens, and kiwi. The heart is jasmine and white chocolate, and the base is Ori Oris root, musk, and woods. This is so sweet. It smells so good. I love it. And then I have Radiance, this little bottle, which is um, red berries, flower petals, soft musk. Um, it includes notes of berries, tuberose, jasmine, orange, blossom, iris, and musk. I like this. I like the other one better, the Cosmic Radiance, better than this one. This one just is a little too, um, has that tuberose in it that I'm not a big fan of. Then I have Purr by Katy Perry which is kind of a beat-up bottle. This is really old. And this is top notes of peach, forbidden apple, gardenia, green bamboo. Um, a heart is jasmine, pink, freesia, Bulgarian rose, and the base of vanilla orchid, creamy sandalwood, white amber, coconut, and musk. This smells really good, but it's very sharp. This makes my nose tickle when I first spray it. It's just kind of um, a little too sharp for me. I do really like it. It was a gift. Um, I did ask for the gift, so um, this was a few years ago. My taste kind of changed it, I guess. Next I have Meow by Katy Perry. This is the second one she did. And this is um, notes of tangerine, pear, jasmine, and gardenia. The heart is honeysuckle, lily of the valley, and orange blossom. And the base is amber, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. So this one's kind of like the first one, but it's just a lot sweeter. Um, I like it better. Then I have Wonderstruck Enchanted by Taylor Swift. And this is um, wild berries, pink poppy, and passion fruit. Um, the heart is peony blossoms, sugar glaze, champaca petals, I don't know what that is, and white freesia. And the base is white musk, hypnotic vanilla, and blonde woods. This one's kind of, I do like this, but this is kind of like one of those scents where um, what you like, it got it kind of scent. Like it has everything thrown into it. And so it's just kind of a little hard for me to wear because it smells really, really good, but it's just, I can't pinpoint a scent on it. Like what if I had to describe it? Next I have Pink Friday by Nicki Minaj. And this one is floral musky um it opens with star fruit italian mandarin and blackberry then it has um, lotus starry jasmine in the heart and the base is caramelized pear vanilla musk and woody notes again it's not a very complex scent but it's you know it's pleasant it's something you can just throw on right away then I have, I had just lost the cap to this because I dropped it. This is Paris Hilton by Paris Hilton. I've actually had a long time ago the original um, perfume of this with the small one and I've used it or lost it, one or the other. But this is the Body Splash and this is, um, the top notes are Apple, Orange, and Melon. The Heart is Floral and Sweet by Jasmine, Freesia, Lily, Tuberose, Mimos, Lily of the Valley. And the base is a um, ylang ylang, I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, and sandalwood, musk, and oak moss. I can never pronounce that. Then is my favorite celebrity perfume, believe it or not. It's a Snicky <laughs> by Nicole Pelosi. <laughs> it smells bomb, I don't care. Um, this one is opening with fruity notes of chilled lychee, quincy flower, and kiwi. The heart is pink cupcake. Uh, white jasmine and beach flower and the base er, includes woody notes, seaside driftwood, and sugared musk. This doesn't last very long, you have to carry it around with you, but it smells really really good. This is like a better version to me of Pink Sugar by Aqualina. It smells very similar, but I think that one's better. Then I have a splash of Beyonce Heat and this is a um, vanilla, red vanilla orchid, magnolia, neroli, and peach. And the heart is honeysuckle, almond, and musky cream, and a base of sequoia wood, tonka, beans, and ember. It smells really, really good. It actually is really strong. 
even in the body spray it's very strong um, then I have cosmic radiance which is um, says the fragrance opening um, shoot where is it uh, anyways so it has um, amber soft vanilla creamy sandalwood so this one and the other one the regular radiance smell alike but that one lacks tuberose and I think smells better it's sweeter then I have Midnight Fantasy, which is a really, really pretty bottle. And this is um, opening our framboise Black Cherry and Plum. The heart is orchid, Night Orchid, Freesia, and Iris. And the base is Amber, Musk, and Vanilla. This smells exactly like Bath and Body Works Dark Kiss, which has been discontinued, and I love it. That was my favorite one, so I like that a lot. And last but not least is Nude by Rihanna with the stupid, ugly bottle. And this is Fruity Aroma of Guava, Mandarin, and Pear. The heart is White Flowers, Gardenia Petals, Velvety, Sambac, Jasmine, Cream Orange Blossom. And the base is Sandalwood, Vanilla, Orchid, and Musk. So this one smells really good, actually. I do really like this. Um, these two, I think, smell a lot alike. You know, they all these, you know, a lot of celebrity perfumes all tend to smell like they all kind of smell like they're, you know, meant for everyone. So that completes my perfume collection. I know, super long. If you made it with me to the third video, thumbs up to you. I don't know. That's, it's a really long, long series. So I will see you guys later. Bye.